Daniel, take it away. He said there was world peace in 2020. There was very much not. He said he won Wisconsin in 2020. He lost. He said the Democrats rigged the 2020 election. A lie. He said people around President Biden cheat on elections. No. He said people's votes tend to disappear. They simply do not. He said 107,000 people attended his recent rally in New Jersey. That's at least tens of thousands too high. He said he saved Kenosha, Wisconsin in 2020 during rioting when the Democratic governor wouldn't act to intervene. In fact, that governor deployed the National Guard before Trump told him to. Trump said cocaine was found at the White House about a month ago. That was actually about 11 months ago. He said it was hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of cocaine. It was a little bag, maybe generously in the hundreds of dollars worth. He said Biden orchestrated his New York criminal trial. Zero evidence of that. He said Biden was also behind all of his cases, including civil trials. Baseless again. He said Biden wandered off at the G7 and didn't know where he was. No, Biden was briefly chatting with a skydiver who had landed near the group. He said he was indicted more than infamous Al Capone. No, Al Capone had more indictments than him. He said he was in Washington the other day for one of his trials. He was actually there for meetings with congressional Republicans. He said Nancy Pelosi turned down his offer of 10,000 soldiers on January 6th. She never got such an offer, offer and would not have had the power to reject it even if she did. He said the January 6th committee deleted all records, just did not happen. He said he's the only president who didn't start a war. Jimmy Carter didn't start any wars. He said he finished the war in Syria, no, and got U.S. soldiers out. He actually left hundreds of troops there. He said Syria and Turkey have been fighting over their border for, quote, 2,000 years. That border, Abby, is less than a century old. He said insane asylums are being emptied by foreign countries to let people come to the U.S. as migrants. His own campaign cannot substantiate this claim. And he also said prisoners are coming in from jails in the Congo over the border. His campaign can't substantiate that either. He said President Obama cannot deport criminals to Latin American countries. Obama, in fact, could. He said Venezuela's crime is down 72% because of emigration to the U.S. Venezuela's violent deaths are actually down 25%, and that's for a variety of reasons. He said 17 or 18 million people have now entered illegally over the the border. Experts say that's many millions too high. He said Biden's plans would quadruple your taxes. Total fiction. He said canceling Keystone XL, the pipeline, costs 48,000 jobs. That is wildly inflated. He said total inflation under President Biden is 40 or 50 percent. It's actually 19 percent. He said before he took office, there was a 500 billion trade deficit with China. It has never been that high. And in fact, the record was set under Trump in 2018. He said no previous president has taken in even 10 cents in tariff money from China. It is American. Americans who pay those tariffs, and the U.S. has actually had such tariffs on China since the 1700s. And finally, he said we're in the worst crime wave in modern history. Crime has actually plummeted in 2023 and so far in 2024. Abby. And it's only Tuesday. Dan we stand on the shoulders of the American giants who crossed the oceans, explored the continent, settled the Great Plains, won the Wild West laid down the railroads, raised up those great, big, beautiful skyscrapers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Conquered the skies, fought two world wars and won. And we didn't have to change the name of the forts, by the way. Does anybody know what I mean by that? Fort Bragg is no longer Fort Bragg. We won two world wars. So many of the forts are changed. The names of the forts have changed. We won. We won freedom from those forts and they changed the name so horrible defeat now i got to ask you mr president you have a lovely gorgeous wife i got married i'm lucky with a beautiful wife we've been great relationship but i can tell you i don't agree with her 95.5% of the time and I sure the heck know she doesn't agree with me 95.5% of the time. So how could Tammy Baldwin agree with Joe Biden 95.5% of the time? Joe Biden's forming, granting mass thing. He's going to formally grant. I said, honey, I'll tell you, it was unbelievable. How good was it? It was unbelievable. The crowd, nobody's ever seen a crowd. That broke every record in New Jersey history. Nobody's ever seen a hundred, and I don't have a guitar. Don't forget, Elvis had a guitar. I don't have a guitar. I have nothing. I stand up here by myself. Terrible. But we stand on the shoulders of the American giants who crossed the oceans, explored the continent, settled the Great Plains, won the Wild West, laid down the railroads, raised up those great, big, beautiful skyscrapers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 
conquered the skies, fought two world wars and won, and we didn't have to change the name of the forts, by the way. Does anybody know what I mean by that? Fort Bragg is no longer Fort Bragg. We won two world wars. So many of the forts are changed. The names of the forts have changed. We won, we won freedom from those forts, and they changed the name. So horrible. Defeat. I said, honey, I'll tell you, it was unbelievable. How good was it? It was unbelievable. The crowd, nobody's ever seen a crowd. That broke every record in New Jersey history. Nobody's ever seen a hundred, and I don't have a guitar. Don't forget, Elvis had a guitar. I don't have a guitar. I have nothing. I stand up here by myself. Terrible. But we stand on the shoulders of the American giants who crossed the oceans, explored the continent, settled the Great Plains, won the Wild West, laid down the railroads, raised up those great, big, beautiful skyscrapers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Conquered the skies, fought two world wars, and won. And we didn't have to change the name of the forts, by the way. Does anybody know what I mean by that? Fort Bragg is no longer Fort Bragg. We won two world wars. So many of the forts are changed. The names of the forts have changed. We won, we won freedom from those forts, and they changed the name. So horrible. Defeat. Do you remember in 2016 we won, and then we did much better here in 2020. But they, you know, lots of things happened, and then in the end we won. But they, you know, by that time it was a little late. But in 20, Joe Bright, this guy is just the worst. Joe Biden, the worst president in the history of our country, will be a fading nightmare. He'll be a fading, I have fading memory, but I think, do you mind if I change it? He will be a fading nightmare. He's been a nightmare for this country. He's just. And I will not give one penny to any school that has a vaccine mandate or a mask. Mandate. To further secure America's future and create opportunity for young people, I will end Joe Biden's war on crypto. We will ensure that the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin will be made in America. Otherwise, other countries are going to have it. The other countries are going to have it. We're going to. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eric. Thanks, Derek. That's great. Uh, Brian Style took the place of somebody that wasn't nearly as good as him. Doing a much better job than his predecessor. Thank you very much. That's great. And he's uh, working on all sorts of J6 scams and hustles and what's happened. And he's in charge of the committee. And I hear you're doing a fantastic job. And you're going to make sure there's no that we, we have a an honest election in the great state of Wisconsin, right? Ask you, Mr. President, you have a lovely, gorgeous wife. I got married. I'm lucky with a beautiful wife. We've been great relationship, but I can tell you, I don't agree with her 95.5% of the time, and I sure the heck know she doesn't agree with me 95.5% of the time. So how could Tammy Baldwin agree with Joe Biden 95.5% of the time? And ABC, you know, they have George Stopalopoulos. I call him Slopadopoulos. George Stopalopoulos. I said, George, I've had you up to here. You've got to start telling the truth. Think of it. You have people that come in illegally that don't speak the language. We don't even know the country. These are countries where we have nobody in our country that even understands the language. Remember, they said I attacked Secret Service agents while I was in the back of a car. And, and I have friends that say, don't change that story. Man, you sound tough as hell. That's good. <laughs> you know, these guys are like 30 years old. One is a weightlifter. The other one's a karate top guy or something. I went for the one who was rebuffed. But my hands wrapped around the other one's neck. I would have been in trouble if I did that, I think. I think. But uh, what happened is when Secret Service went in, they totally told the proper story, which was nothing happened absolutely nothing happened then she supposedly changed her sir something went on there but the unselect committee of political thugs the evidence was so bad and so compelling against the democrats and against the people that are supposed to be doing that job 
that they destroyed and deleted all of the info. Everything is deleted. Remember